Our senior correspondent John Miller is in New York tonight. He's a former assistant director of the FBI. And John, thousands of people were at the race. All of them probably had cell phone cameras. How does the FBI sort through all of that? Well, first, Scott, they're very aggressive about making sure they get all of it. Something very interesting today at Logan Airport, as people were departing on international and domestic flights, the Customs and Border Patrol, the agents from Immigration and Customs Enforcement were greeting them on their way out and saying, before you get 3,000 miles away, do you have an iPhone? Do you have a camera? Did you take pictures at the marathon? Can we download that right now? Can we get that digital media from you? So. They are going to be buried under a mountain of this stuff. And what they're going to do, Scott, is triage it. They're going to look at when it was taken in terms of how close to the explosion in terms of timing and where it was taken, how close to the two places where the bombs were placed. And they're going to go through those first. And then they will widen out in concentric circles and try to look at every piece they get. We just heard Special Agent Delaria ask everyone in the country for tips. How do they sift through all of that? Is there a danger that they'll just be overwhelmed by all of the information? They're prepared for a mountain of information. They've activated a system called Orion, which is a computer database that'll catalog every one of those leads and be searchable. And they're gonna deploy DIVS, the Digital Investigation Visualization System, which will help link leads and link them to any information in other FBI cases. Um, this is something they've been through before and they've gotten better at it. Fascinating, John, thanks very much.